first ever YCS 3v3 event took place on the weekend of March 16th, 2019. Set in Atlanta, Georgia, duelists would form teams of three to play against opposing teams. Instead of tournament records based on individual standings, the teams had to win two out of three matches to score their team as 1-0. Even to this day, the 3v3 is still one of the most beloved tournament experiences, and they still host 3v3s now. In this series, both MBT and myself will be traversing the sands of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s history. Each episode will take a deep dive into Yu-Gi-Oh!'s past formats and unlock new strategies as new sets become available. Strap yourselves in, because anything is possible. Welcome to the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!! If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. As we move further into 2019, and further away from the six consecutive firewall formats, we are rapidly approaching TOS. Now, keep in mind that TOS doesn't refer to a single format, but a series of formats during which Thunder, Orcist, Salamangrate, and Sky Striker were all incredibly powerful. Right now, those are the top four decks, but Orcist does not resemble what it will become after the release of Dark Neo Storm and Dingirsu Orcist of the Evening Star. But while the metagame had solidified around Salamangrate, Sky Striker, Thunder Gar Dragon, and Orcist, there was still experimentation happening in Yu-Gi-Oh! It was just happening on the part of Konami. In early 2019, they revealed one of the strangest things they've ever tried. And thank goodness they did. A 3v3 tournament. Three duelists pair up to make a team, and each of them has to win a best 2 out of 3 match. Two players on your team win their 2 out of 3 matches, and your team clears. It distills Yu-Gi-Oh! down to its bare essentials. At its core, Yu-Gi-Oh! is a game about complaining to your friends about bad beats, and this is the most efficient way to do it. As an individual who played a ton of 3v3 YCSs during this period, as well as tournaments after COVID paused paper play for a significant amount of time, I can tell you it's some of the most fun I've ever had playing the game. In fact, the 2019 3v3 YCS is where I first met Alex and Gage in person, and we wore the shirts that I have been stuck in ever since we started history. What I have in front of me is a Sky Striker list. You might be shaking your head and saying, Joseph, we've seen Sky Striker. You've been playing this list or a variant of it for months at this point. Well, while that certainly is true, this list is something special. And that's because its pilot, Paulo, won three back-to-back -back premiere events, two YCSs and a UDS, something that has not been done before or since. And as a result, I really like playing this one in particular. To mirror the 3v3s that were happening in real life, Alex and I are going to do something special. We're going to play three best of ones with the three top decks from this period, which we can shuffle in and out as we like. With that, let's talk about this deck in particular. We've got three copies of Ash Blossom, Joy Spring, three Effect Veiler, two Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, three Sky Striker Ace Ray, three Called by the Grave, two Foolish Burial Goods, one Metal Foes Fusion, double Mystical Space Typhoon. This is not only a fantastic way to clear problematic back row, it's also a great way to proc your own Sky Striker spells. It can pop like a Metal Foes Fusion and then your one spell away from Engage being all the way online. Rhoda, a uh, Sky Striker, Airspace, Area Zero, of course, playing multiples of this card um, is uh, kind of frustrating. You can frequently brick on them, but the MSTs do smooth out a lot of hands that otherwise don't have access to Ray. Afterburners, Double Eagle Booster, Hornet Drones, One Shark Cannon, Triple Widow Anchor, Triple Multi Roll, Triple Engage, Double Terraforming, and an Upstart Goblin in the side. We've got Lancia, Pancratops, Shared Ride, Twin Twisters, and Infip in the extra. We've got all the standard cards. Boral Sword, Dragon Nightmare, Phoenix, and Unicorn and Ingirsu, Triple Hayate, Triple Kagari, Triple Shizuku, One Kaina, and a Topologic Bomber Dragon. So with that, here's Alex with the other lists we're going to be playing in this 3v3. Man, talk about a hype time for Yu-Gi-Oh! The first ever 3v3 event took place at YCS Atlanta, and this event was so popular. I think they did 13 rounds of Swiss because they had so many people enter, and what a great time to spend with friends. So we're going to be going over three different decks, uh, Salomon Great Striker as well as Thunder Dragon. I'm going to start with Salomon Great because, let's be honest, it's Salomon Great, and uh, I feel like I warmed up a bit since playing it last episode or a couple episodes back. 
So let's quickly do the card by card. Uh, one thing, this is actually the first place Salomon Great list uh, from, uh, I believe, is, uh, was it Hector Perez? There we go. I have it in the title. How fitting. But um, it's Salomon Great. It is playing Sanctum with the one scythe. I do kind of like this because it just gives you a strong edge against all your matchups. If you look at those three, Striker can't really play. Salomon Great can't play. Thunder can still play, but at the end of the day, at least you cut them off from doing all the crazy stuff in the extra deck. So I like that. We have Ashes. We have Veilers. We have Phantasmates. We're on Buffalo. We haven't seen this card before. If this face of card leaves the field, you can discard a Cybers monster. If you do, draw two cards. So it's literally Pot of Greed because you can just link this off into Bailinx immediately, which is fantastic. And being able to see more cards is always wonderful in a deck like this. We're also on two Ogre. We slimmed Lady Debug down to two since we're playing the Buffaloes just to cut down on our normal summons. One Falco, triple Foxy, triple Gazelle, one Jaguar, and only two Spinny. You can get away with only playing two of this card. He's strangely enough, kind of bricky in some instances. So it's kind of okay to only play two of this card, but I think a lot of people still like to play three. For the spells, we have triple Caught by the Grave, one Fusion of Fire for the OTKs, triple Salmon Great Circle for Rhoda, one Sanctuary, because you have to play it, one Upstart Goblin for consistency, and of course the one Will, and then triple Sanctum, one Roar, and one Rage. I prefer this for the ratio of the traps, because I think you only really need one of each. The extra, I think, is exactly the same as the Salmon Great list we played before. It was pretty standard at this point. It was Violet Chimera, Dweller, Mirage, Stalio, uh, one Borolode, a Hita. We have Phoenix, triple Bailings, double Heat Leo, triple Wolf, and an Update Jammer. And then the side deck's a little bit different. We have two Lancia for the Thunder decks or any of the Banishing-related decks. We can search it off of Sanctum. Double Pankertops, because Pankertops is crazy. Double Gamma Seal, which is pretty useful in the handful of matchups. One Super Polymerization, just because uh, in the mirror especially, this card can be quite strong. We have double Twin Twister, triple Anti-Spell, double Evenly, and Imperial order. So let's see if we can win the inaugural 3v3 in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Well, Joseph, uh, it's rare in history of Yu-Gi-Oh! that we get to cover something uh, this interesting, I would say. Like, not that the decks we cover aren't particularly interesting, but, like, I like when we have these flagship moments where there's this big unveiling of this new type of way to play Yu-Gi-Oh! or something that really kind of shifts the way, like, competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! takes shape. And uh, the 3v3 was one of the most beloved events, still is to this day, uh, and one of the best things Konami's ever implemented for the game. What do you think? I... Uh, okay. Uh, uh, it's great. I love the 3v3. I'm really happy that I've had the good fortune of being able to play a couple of them with you. And we've, of course. we've just done so well in so many of them. <laughs> Uh, you could do so much better if you didn't play with me. No, no, no. With Gage, maybe. But no, no, no. No, I, 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 I love the 3v3. It's it's great not only as a mechanism to, like, you have to make all these different decisions about, like, what you want your composition to be, where you're putting certain people. But also, if you lose, it's not necessarily your fault, right? The best part is that you get to shit on your teammates the whole time and make fun of them when they do things that are actually just terrible. And, and that's I think that's, like, the most all fun about. part about the 3v3. Exactly. It's the camaraderie at the end of the day. And so I think that's why these events are so fun because even if you aren't particularly good at Yu-Gi-Oh, you can just go with some friends and have a great time. And yeah, you could do that at a regular YCS, but I feel like the 3v3 sort of just like supports that mentality. But oh, and uh, for I'm what excited. it's worth, the shirt I'm wearing, the shirt of shame originated from one such 3v3. Yes. For those who don't know, uh, when we started History of Yu-Gi-Oh! many moons ago, <laughs> it's surprisingly, the Shirt of Shame was where our first 3v3, as a matter of fact, that was... It was the it was YCS Vegas like Vegas four years in, ago, uh, wasn't it? Twenty nineteen. It's just a few short months after this. That's so crazy. That's so wild. Uh, in any case, let's go ahead and shout the patron. Uh, thank you to build a wall of revealing light. I'm, they're getting more creative. Incredible. Uh, getting you, more creative. you guys, we had a bit of a lull. <laughs> I appreciate your coming back. All right. Uh, I rolled the die. Do you have the hand? Oh, up? Oh, I got the hand up. I rolled a five for the number of rings we don't have uh, from playing in YCS 3v3. Events. I threw up a three because of three. Shit. So, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That, that means you Very win. Fitting. Oh, that means I win. Okay. I, I, I should have just it's... not told you. I should have said. Oh, <laughs> you should have yeah, just yeah, not yeah. said anything. Honestly, how many times have we just not said anything in the series and gotten away with it? Like, imagine Until cheating and getting away with it. All right, uh, you want to go first me. or second? Could be me. I would appreciate if I could go first. You if sure? You allow it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all yeah. good. Yeah. All right. Good luck to you. So we're doing our little made up 3v3 format here. Uh, we're playing the three exact same lists, but uh, we're going to just play them against one another for a bit of variety to replicate what that experience might have been like. So uh, best of luck, buddy. And I got to admit, my hand's looking pretty decent. Yeah, it's looking all right. My hand uh, we'll is... go debug effect. Yeah, oh, big big freaking surprise, Lois. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> 
Uh, my hand is legitimately I spun unbeatable. The wheel. I will tell you this right now. If if you okay. had let Let's me go first, I don't think I could have lost. Uh, but as is, okay. now I have uh, to play. So we're going to go Link off. Yep. We're going to go for Bay Link. So let's see if I actually know how to play this deck correctly now. Go Bay Link's okay. effect. Yep. Let's get a Sanctuary. Uh, we are going to go Pitch Spinny for Bay Links, And then that'll trigger Gazelle. And then we have Gazelle effect. Pitch Spinny for Bay Links. I'm using Spinny's first effect to pitch oh, it to, to increase the attack. That's attack. fine. Okay. Yeah, this card has another effect, Joseph. Hello. That, that would be pitching Spinny for Spinny. Sorry, whatever. I meant pitching Spinny targeting Baylinks like, to get the attack. Baylinks That's not permanent. Mermaid? Is it? It's end of no, turn. No, no, no. It's end of turn. Yeah. If only. Uh, Gazelle will pitch Roar, and then uh, we'll go Spinny. Bring back. Uh, it's one uh, effect like, of Spinny per turn. I'm lying. It's this is like the. This is the I'm like, you're so you full do. of shit. I'm just gonna you are lie so the whole full time. of shit. Yeah. <laughs> you are just going to lie the whole time. You got anything here? Uh, you have to have only used Salaman Great Effects the turn you Stalio. Yeah, go ahead. You're fine. <laughs> you just like keep making shit. I'm just I'm lying. Like, you're, literally so just... Wrong. you're literally just lying. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll get this guy. Mm -hmm. He's pretty cool right here. Mm -hmm. uh, we will go. How do I want to end on this? Actually, what the fuck am I doing? Detach Gazelle. I literally yeah, am that's doing fine. this wrong. You, Let's fix that. that I was, uh, I was tilting you by way of. <laughs> you're literally tilting me. Yeah. Uh, we'll go uh, Sunlight Wolf. Oh, over here. Yes, that's fine. Uh, and then we will. Sanctuary. Yep. Uh, we'll relink Wolf. Yep. Uh, we will go Wolf's second effect from relink. We'll get this back. Yeah. Uh, we will go effect of Jack Jaguar, shuffle back Wolf. First effect of Wolf, get Gazelle. Yep. See, I'm, it's coming back it's coming now. Back. It's coming back. Yeah. I'm I'm back in my groove. I'm back in my groove. Set two pass. Go oh, ahead. You drew the rage. Okay. Wow. I can't believe we finally get to play a good game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Right. All right. Let's. Think. Especially when I actually remember what my cards do and how to play them properly. I had to I had to get the training wheels off from the last time. Wow. I and this and deck. Maxi isn't even legal. And Vanities is banned too, isn't it? Holy and Soul shit. Wait, Soul Charge still. It might I think be. they banned Soul yeah. Charge, didn't they? It might be illegal. It, it's. I feel like a lot year, of these decks yeah. would play Soul Charge. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go Terra. Uh, yeah, Terra's fine. That just gives away everything. Uh, let's go ahead and grab. Yeah, I was about to Zero. say. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna activate Foolish Burial Goods. That is perfectly fine. We are gonna send a Metal Foes Fusion to the graveyard. Anything here? Mm -hmm. We're gonna see a copy of Engage you in might, our future. You might see an Engage. This kind of sucks. I really don't want you to get extra cards, but I don't know if there's anything I can do about it. Yeah, Engage is fine. All right. We are gonna grab. Okay. Uh, what are we working with? Nice. Get a draw. We'll take it. Uh, we'll go Metal Foes Fusion here. Uh, let's go <clears throat> Wanker target Sunlight Wolf. That blows. Doesn't it, though? Uh, well, you forced my hand, yeah, so I will just negate it. I need it. Uh, banishes it? Destroys Does. Just destroys, unfortunately. I wish it banished. Hmm. Now I have to make a decision. What do I put you on for that other This card? is not Crescendo. This is not Crescendo. The other card's got to be Rage, right? There's just no shot it's anything else. Could be called by, and I could get blown out by like activating Ray Tag. Everything else you play is like an extender. It's something like Will of the Salaman Great. Ooh, although this deck did at the time play like Scythe, didn't it? Potentially. Uh, but I actually have some pretty. I like how you're saying that, and you have you have the same list that's playing Scythe. So. Yeah. Oh, I didn't I didn't look at the Salaman Great list for one second. I just clicked download. Is there anything oh, okay. I can do if you Scythe me? I don't think so. Let's try it like this. Uh, I'm gonna go. Normal Ray. Kagari effect, target, and cage. Uh, that's annoying. Uh, let me think here. Yep. Uh, we'll go Phantasme. That's very interesting. Yeah, no response. Uh, so... We'll come up here. We resolve the effect. We draw two. And then we will put back one. We shuffle it away. Mm -hmm. And you may proceed. Engage. Yes. We'll grab multi-roll. Okay. Wow. That's a hell of a draw. Uh, let's set one. Multi-roll. Okay. Activate multi-roll targeting the set card. I'll ogre the multi -roll. I'll called by the ogre. Pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, that resolves. Okay. Uh, we're going to go Area 01, Widow Anchor 2, Target, Sunlight Wolf. Can't respond because of multi-roll. Mm -hmm. 
Feel free to move that sunlight wolf wherever you wish. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. Isn't this great, Joseph? We're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Look at this! It's fucking insane, right? It's unbelievable. <laughs> Let's go combat. I'm gonna go Kagari into Mirage Stallio. Uh, I'll take two, and I'll banish the Bailings. Yeah. Second main. Uh, I'm gonna go... Ningirsu. We'll do the mandatory, and then I'll go Ningirsu effect. Uh, to send. Correct. Uh, we'll see. I'll Valor this. That's fine. Upstart Goblin. Um, area zero. Sure. Uh, we'll target Ningirsu. All right, well. Uh, <laughs> and area zero, get area zero? I can. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, we will go Shizuku here. Makes sense. Uh, end phase, we will attempt to resolve the effect of Shizuku. Uh, that is fine. We'll grab, we'll grab, uh, Shark Cannon. Sure. Uh, we'll go Shark Cannon target Sunlight Wolf. Uh, yeah. You want him or you just banish him? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> and then we'll attempt to resolve multi-roll for three. Uh, sure. I think you can resolve it for four if you want. Uh, I don't want to set the area zero over the area zero now. Oh, oh that's right. So it's a uh, shark widow engage, yep. right? Okay. Back to you. <clears throat> Full deal. Interactive Yu-Gi-Oh. I'll yep. draw Mirage Stallio effect. <clears throat> no response to this. Uh, who do we want? Who do we want? Got some dudes. Now let's get Falco out. We haven't seen much Falco action. Falco's kind of gnarly. It's kind of neat. It's I, I neat. actually, I am a Falco truther. I think Falco's insane. One of the underappreciated Salomon greats. Is this fine? Yeah, this is okay. Uh, let's go uh, Gazelle effect. Sorry. Spinny went to grave. Mm. We were getting all obsessed with uh, Falco. Yeah, nothing on Spinny. You mean Gazelle? Yeah, Gazelle yeah, effect. Yeah, yeah. Let's dump Rage. Why not? Uh, link off Stalia. Maybe not Stalia yet. I'm going to link off Falco for Bay Links. Mm -hmm. And then trigger, attempt to trigger Falco effect. No response to that. Let's do these two for a wolf. And uh, we'll trigger Mirage Stalio to bounce Shizuku. We'll try for Ray and Grave. And I do have Call by the Grave. Yeah. No response to that. Get rid of whichever one. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, let's go Jack and Wolf for another Wolf. Uh, we'll use Wolf's second effect to get back Rage. Actually, I'm going to do it slightly differently. I'm going to do it with uh, Gazelle instead. Okay. Uh, so we'll get Rage. Uh, activate Spinny. You're just trying to force out my Shark Cannon. I mean, we're trying. It'll work. I I'll take it. All right, give me him too. All yours. Okay. Cool beans. Uh, I'm going to link this jack off into... This what? Bay links. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Uh, first effect of Sunlight Wolf. Yeah. Get Gazelle back. Uh, link these two. Go for Heat Leo. Yep. Uh, effect on Summon. Let's go for one of the back row. Mm -hmm. Go for this one. Uh, Sure. Get shuffled back. I uh, set it off multi-roll. Oh, that's right. Uh, thank you for reminding God, me. I wish. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh, we will go... That means last one's Widow. Uh, we'll relink. Yep. Uh, we'll go for the other one. Yep. Uh, we'll use Jack Effect. Mm -hmm. Put back a Sunlight Wolf. And we'll just go Battle here. Uh, Jack has Piercing, so you'll take three <clears throat> from this. Mm-hmm. Actually, does this... Oh, uh, Heat Lee only does attack. That would have been cool. Yeah, All right, right, it doesn't work. 23-24. Uh, uh, and then second main, I'll set a card. I don't think I really need to do much else. Uh, yeah, over to you. We'll go multi-roll at end step. Just get the one. That is fine. You took Widow? Yeah. Okay, sure. Anything in draw phase? Uh, draw... I actually don't know a single card in your hand, do I? No, That's you crazy. don't. Yeah, actually, yeah, you activated the shark hand in end phase. Stand by main. Multi-roll. Targeting. Uh, I don't know. Um, uh, area <laughs> zero. I figured. I'm okay. just I'm just yeah, saying just words. Rage. I'm like, I'm, I know this shit ain't resolving. Uh, which effect? Every th uh, second effect. Uh, I'll chain... Everything except... Uh, sure. Uh, or the Heat Leo. 
No, we'll target the Phantasma here. Interesting. I bet. Uh, I'll bite. Get rid of Gazelle. Yeah, no response here. Um, Everything except zero. Okay. I was so excited. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, I'll set thank God. Thank God. Rage is up to uh, zero. Target the set card. Uh, you'll whiff. That's fine. What is it going to? You take? won't whiff. What I'm kidding. I was kidding, Joseph. I was kidding. What is it going to? I was take? kidding. Alex, 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 you fool! You country yeah, yeah, yeah. pumpkin. Engage. I'll roar it. Yeah. Ray. Sure. Kagari. Target engage. Baylor the Kagari. Oh my fucking god! What's wrong with you? God, you're a monster. A truly heinous fucking human. Not allowed. Not allowed. Oh my god. Oy, 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 oy. What the fuck am I doing now? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twenty-three. Uh, let's go Kaina. Targeting. Phantasme. Uh, sure. Man, that's annoying. Go combat. Attack the, uh, Jack Jagger. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's a thousand. So I take five. Yeah. And uh, I'll Baylings protect. Sure. Let's go end phase, resolve Shizuku. That's fine. I think we have to grab Widow Anchor anyway. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. I'll draw. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. That's insane. Uh, I think that just wins me the game. Uh, yeah, that should do it. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I want to do first. Yeah, I'm cool with this. Uh, Will. Whoa. Yeah. Holy shit, yeah? Yeah, Will's second effect. Uh-huh. Uh, seldom comes up, but uh, since I have a relinked Heat Leo, I get to get three guys back. I feel like it comes up pretty frequently. Uh, not with Heat Leo. I think with Sunlight Wolf, it's a lot more common. Uh, unfortunately, we can't bring back Lynx. That'd be too good. Uh, let's just bring back all these dudes. Uh, everything's great. Sure, get Foxy out of here. Whatever. Falco... Spinny for update jammer. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. I'm going to use Heat Leo's effect, target Shizuku, and my effect Veiler to make it zero. That's fine. And then jammer Leo Jaguar for Bor load. Bor load. Sure. You're at zero, but I'm also getting sunk, but it doesn't matter when I can just attack, take Shizuku, and just kill you. Unless I'm missing something. Uh, I could have done this slightly differently. I could have got rid of Phantasme. I don't think I'm missing anything. Battle. Attack effect. Game. What? He already attacked, right? I used update jammer. Oh, and didn't declare it. Oh, sorry. You got it, you got sorry. I'm fucked anyway. There's nothing <laughs> Since Joseph and I already played Striker and Salomon Great, I figured I would just quickly go over the new variant of Danger Thunder Dragon. Uh, it's actually playing some new cards out of, I believe, Savage Strike, which are the Guard Dragons. We haven't seen these cards before, but uh, they're both very banned for a reason that I hope we get to show off in this episode. So let's talk about some of the new changes here. Like, obviously, a lot of this deck is pretty similar to what you've seen before. Uh, we are playing now Arc Brave Dragon as well as Amorphage Goliath. These are sends off of Dark Matter Dragon that if you're able to summon this, then you can dump both of these then during the next standby phase arc brave dragon triggers to special summon a dragon you bring back goliath and now you're neither player can special summon but that's totally fine because you know you already did your turn one play and now you just make it so your opponent cannot do anything we're still on triple battery man solar uh, we're only on double collapse serpent triple levineer one bigfoot triple nessie triple jackalope triple suchinoko darkest diabolos lord of the lair is sort of a new card uh this is another way just to loop another card out of your opponent's hand on turn one which is pretty neat again hopefully we get to show this off defry dragon is also a new card as well. You can special summon it by sending another monster you control to the graveyard uh, from your hand. That doesn't trigger the dangers. The dangers do have to be discarded, but it's a way to just help you get into your guard dragon plays. And also just has like a decent effect where it can like re-special summon itself to the field if you have three monsters of the same name in your graveyard. That could maybe come up at times. Obviously the game, I feel like would have to go on for a little bit longer, but it's a nice dragon extender to have. And there's a reason why they're playing this. Then we also have Eclipse Wyvern, which can search any of our uh, dragons like Chaos Dragon Levineer or even Darkest Diabolus 
if we need it. Then, of course, Triple Phantom Sky Blaster to swarm the field with tokens so we can get to our link climbing. Then we have Triple Thunder Dragon, Triple Dark, one Duo, Double Hawk, Double Roar, Triple Wyver Burster, and then, of course, Sekka's Light because, you know, it's Sekka's Light. It's Pot of Greed. The extra deck, in addition to Dark Matter, contains Thunder Dragon Colossus. We have Hot Red Dragon Archfiend to summon off of our Guard Dragon Agrapane. We have Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon, which we can make with a handful of eight, such as Thunder Dragon Duo, a used up Chaos Dragon Levy near, Bigfoot works, Diabolos works, uh, and then we can overlay Dark Matter Dragon on top of that, and so that's how we get to him. We have the Guard Dragons, uh, LP and Agrapane. So if you've never seen these before, they do require you to use Dragon Monsters to link summon them, and you're locked into summoning dragons while they're on the field, but you can obviously link them off to break that lock. LP has the effect that during your main phase, you can special summon a dragon from your hand or deck to a zone that two or more link monsters point to. You can only use that effect of LP once per turn. And Agrapane does the same thing, except it can special summon from the extra deck, which is why Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss is in here. Typically, you're going to summon something off of LP, which gives you another material with another monster, like uh, to go into Agrapane. And then Agrapane usually is going to be pointing into the zone where LP is also pointing to. Then you could summon Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss like that. So it's a really good way to cheat out a powerful boss monster that this deck has no right summoning otherwise. And then we have, of course, other good Link stuff like Phoenix, Unicorn, Link Spider, Reprodocus, Double Saryuja. This is also a dragon fun fact. And of course, Summon Sword. And then for the side deck, we have Triple Lancia, Triple Electric Fires, Triple Phantasmae, Triple Twin Twister, and Triple Red Reboot. So let's get in the game. Uh, what is it like to draw every single relevant card in the world? I don't think you had one dead draw. I was sitting on five copies of <laughs> Sky Striker Area Zero. Here you are like, oh, Valor off the top. Don't mind if I do. I had the Valor since like turn one. It was off the Phantasmae, actually. Thank you very much. So that, I was is, sitting on it for a you while. You understand that that's worse, right? You understand why that makes it worse? <laughs> oh, my God. You know, just like how you tilted me in the beginning of our first game, I figure I had to tilt you as well. So yeah. what are you doing, buddy? You won the first one. Go uh, I'll go ahead and let you win two. the Rock, Paper, Scissors. Yeah. You're going to go second? Okay, cool. Yeah, and we're playing uh, slightly different decks this time. Yeah, I think that's like our cool little way of, you know, paying homage to a uh, 3v3 format. Oh! All right. Uh, this hand's all right. Best of luck. This is going to be... All right. Well, let's uh, get the party started. I'll begin with Danger Jackalope. Sure. Let's get sniping. So close. Uh, okay. Um, okay. I'm, I'm not happy to... Or I'm happy to see that gone. Ooh, how happy complain. are you to see this? I'm... I... Oh, yeah. That's, can't complain. <laughs> that's that's what we like to see. Uh, let's go Thundra. Uh, I'm just going to grab two Thundra. Okay. Uh, and then we are going to go Jackalope again. Okay. Can we snipe this one? Ooh, you did actually get a pretty good card. I mean, that's not bad. <laughs> anyway, normal Sky Blaster. <laughs> that's literally what I'm doing. Oh my god! I shouldn't have said anything. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm my bad, dog. I, uh, I don't feel good about it either. This deck is so insanely broken. Meanwhile, we were over here playing with Salmon Great and Striker last game. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, I can, go... I can have a Gazelle in my hand. I can set a Roar. I can be we're so gonna good. We're going to go Sekka's Light here. You're just going to have to... I'm putting back a Thunder Dragon. Okay. <laughs> okay uh i hope you redrew it no i didn't uh, oh fuck uh that's okay. thunder dragon i'll just mill it okay uh, we're gonna use its effect <laughs> so goddamn dumb i really want to do the thing is the pro uh, like i really want to do the dance oh we are doing it okay uh i will link summon a link spider one two three four saruya bring him out bada bing yeah one two three four Jesus Christ. This is, that was decent. Um, We are going to put back that one and that one and that one. Uh, Let's go Saruya. Sure. As one does. Okay, this is actually a little crusty. Let's go Bigfoot. Any day now. Up, oh, up. Oh. Just give it to me, baby. Okay, all right. Uh, that worked out well for you. Nessie? I don't know. I don't really want any of these guys. Uh, let's summon Chussie Noko. They, oh, man. There is just literally so much I can do here. So there's a once per turn on Colossus, right? Nope. I know. It's really funny. Uh, okay. Isn't we'll, it great? We'll go Colossus. Uh, Thunder Dragon Dark here. Uh, we're going to grab Duo. On the Duo. Yep. And then go one, two for duo. Okay. 
Uh, we're gonna overlay duo and Bigfoot. Oh my God, they're eight! No! For Cypher Dragon. <laughs> That's crazy. We're yep. gonna go DMD. Yeah. Uh, we'll activate DMD. Uh, all this shit is legal, by the way. Eclipse Wyvern, uh, Arc Brave Dragon, Goliath. Uh, let's go Eclipse Wyvern effect. Hey, hey, hey! I have to banish yeah, cards, yeah. sir. Oh Hold yeah, on. banish your cards, buddy. Any, anytime you're ready. Well, you know, buddy, I really appreciate you uh, summoning that dark matter because now I can go banish dark. Oh, God. Banish hawk <laughs> and banish roar. That's, that's fine. Yeah. So thank you for kickstarting my turn. I appreciate it. All right. So what are you doing? Eclipse wyvern mandatory. Then what do you got? Uh, uh, I got all my effects. So I'm just going to do all of them. Mm, in fact, you're not. Uh, you are under Colossus. So that dark isn't going to. Oh, you're right. So dark isn't gonna fire. Well, that's fine in that case. So I'll just do roar and hawk then. That's fine. Uh, we are banishing level seven or eight. Special dark off of the roar and then hawk. I just get to mulligan. Pretty cool. Let's go. Do I have to reveal them? Sick. All right, we'll go one. I'm going second. I kind of want to mulligan my whole hand if I'm being honest. Yeah, good, good luck, buddy. <laughs> I feel like, I mean, we're, you know what I'm playing, so I can talk out loud. I feel like I just need to, like, hard uh, get Lebionir to even have a chance to, like, win this. But yeah, we'll see. Okay, continue. You, you also may not have a chance regardless. Uh, I, I might not. I feel like Lebionir is one of the only few ways I have even am remotely close to getting back in this game. All right, let's, um, let's move this guy over here be a little better. Mandatory Saryuja effect. Jackalope. See, we're hitting this one. Yeah, we'll do it. Okay. Then we'll go these two for unicorn. Yep. Okay. We're gonna spin the dragon dark. Then we'll go Agarpin. Oh, I see, and that gives you arrows. Agarpin for Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. Unfortunately, there's just so much to do. We are locked into dragons here. For the moment. Wyvern, Nessie, Jackalope. Yikes. Uh, okay. Let's go Wyvern here. Uh, and then watch this. One, two, three, four. Here we go again. Oh my fucking god! Uh, sorry, I mean, those were okay. Wow. Holy shit. That's unthinkable, but I think I'm actually too little shit in the deck to do anything else relevant. Ain't that a bitch. Uh, these three, right? Uh, let's go Skulldred, summon Diabolos. Yep. Uh, Diabolos effect. I uh, get to place, so I get to pick. Yeah, you pick. We will bottom this card. That gives you some information. We'll go Dragonhawk, target dark. Sure, make another Colossus. Yes, and that will trigger Darkest Diabolos engrave. Mm-hmm. Well, that's all I'm chilling with. Go ahead. Yeah, you can buff these two because they both have the Saryu. Oh yeah, we have the we have the thing. Is it we do. A, just attack? And uh, it's attack and defense, so it's actually it's relevant. Whoa, don't be skipping the main there. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, in standby phase, I'm going to trigger the effect of the Arc Brave in Graveyard. We're going to target Amorphage yep. uh, Goliath. And then, uh, then, then you're good to go. Great game. Uh, yeah. Let's go Jackalope. He Just kidding. He <laughs> you got it. I can't yeah, do I, I anything. Yeah, I bet. I bet. <laughs>All right, Joseph, it's time for the all-important game three. Oh, yeah, uh, the yeah. Money's on the line. It's the 3v3 in the first place of the inaugural first history of Yu-Gi-Oh! 3v3 event. Uh, and you mentioned it right off camera. We have to play the opposite of game one now since uh, we're just playing with the same three decks. So I will opt to go first, uh, if you'll allow it. And uh, I think this will be slightly different just because I went first with Salomon Great. And, uh, uh, I really hope that's how it brick. I think it's we'll pretty see. much impossible, but uh, let's find out. <laughs> Ah, uh, this hand's. Oh, I fucking hate you. This I fucking so hate you. Bad. Why did you have to say? Look at this hand. This is unplayable. Okay, Hornet drones. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna get the token and link it off. Yeah, you're fine. I guess. Yeah, okay, Kagari, get the drones. Yeah. Uh, 
Shizuku. Oh, shit. This hand really was unplayable. <laughs> I told you. Uh, I'm going to set three and then go for Shizuku. Uh, um, I mean, set three is pretty powerful. That's fine. Uh, we will grab Engage. Over to you. I actually think I would have won if not for one of the cards in my hand. What do I? What am I supposed to do with this? Would it shock you to know my hand is actually poo poo balls as well? Uh, let's go. <laughs> uh, let's How anticlimactic. Let's upstart. Sure. Could you please ash this? Oh, thank God. Uh, Lady Debug effect. Uh, that's pretty good. I will widow anchor this. Balinx. Uh, Balinx effect. Got to draw that shit, huh? It's fine. At least uh, we will grab... That's always the bane of every Solomon Great player. <laughs> the sanctuary. Sure. Sanctuary. It's fine. Yeah, relink that Bay Lakes. You ain't got any other shit to do. Uh, gazelle. Oh, you did have Gazelle. That blows. Uh, it's fine. So all I've got, uh, Gazelle effect. <laughs> all he's got, he's complaining. Gazelle's fine. Of course. What, is was your first day playing with me? We'll go spinny. Call by the spinny. Oh, come on, man. Sure. Let's go these two for Hita. Uh, Hita target Kagari. Uh, that's cute. Sure. It's, it's cute. I don't know how good it is. Uh, let's go Heat Leo Heat here. Leo. You have two engrave. I can't even crash the Hita. Target the back row. That is fine. Uh, we'll just go battle. So you're drained by two. So you're 21 to my 15. So I take six. Mm -hmm. He's got back row. Yeah, he does. Uh, stand by main. Yep. Drones. Yeah. Let's go Hayate. Yeah, um, that's great. Engage. Uh, nothing to engage, no. Okay. Uh, I didn't think we'd get this far. Tell me Let's about go... it. Let's go. I'll get Widow Anchor. Yeah, that's fine. And we do have three, so we'll draw. Mm -hmm. Let's go Kagari for engage. Mm -hmm. And then uh, activate engage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll get multi. And we still have three, so we'll draw. Mm -hmm. uh, let's activate. Multi roll. Yep. Uh, activate area zero. Also fine. Set a card. Yes. Area zero for the set card. Uh, no response. Ooh, that's an easy okay. pickup. Uh, only option. <laughs> Considering it's the only option. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, it was Metal Foes Fusion. Oh, jeez. We'll go Metal Foes Fusion. Yep. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Holy crap. We'll, uh, we'll take the heat, Leo. Yeah. Uh, my Kagari is plus five, so 2,000. Yep. 23. I'll take it all. It, that shit ain't nothing okay. to me, dog. Uh, second main... Get rid of both of these. Uh, I'll just make Bomber Dragon. Yeah. Hell yeah. And end phase, I'll resolve multi-roll for two. You will not. I will not be resolving anything. Okay. Uh, in that case, over to you. Stand by main. This game randomly got a lot more winnable all of a sudden. Not a lot, a lot more winnable. A zone a link monster points to, eh? Mm-hmm. All right, so you've got a Phantasme in hand, and I'm just going to have to lose to that. Uh, let us normal summon Salaman Great Falco, stinking up my hand, P-U. And a feeling. What was that you were saying about Falco earlier? <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have talked so much shit. Bailing's here. Uh, last card of hand is Gazelle. Gazelle effect. Uh, I'll Ash Gazelle. That's fine. That's okay. I'm not mad about that. Um, I'm a little mad. I'm a little insanely angry. I think I'm cool. Go ahead. Okay. I'll draw. Mm -hmm. Stand by main. Multi-roll. Uh, target area zero. No response. Oh, actually. Don't want to do it that way. Hold on. Let's do it this way. Uh, I'm going to area, area zero multi-roll. Ooh, there's one you want. That's the one you want. Ooh, and that's the one you're gonna. And get. That was like the same other two cards. Exact, that's exact, so the card stupid. you already have plus two 
cards you can't take. Amazing. Fantastic. Okay, this is out of here. Uh, I have another one. Another another. Drew one. both of these back to back, by the way. Oh, you have all three. Another Jesus multi-roll. Christ. Yeah, that's fine. I had all three, yeah. Okay, this time we're doing the opposite. Multi-roll target area zero. Sure. Uh, area zero effect, if that's fine. Not a lot I can do about it. Get Ray. Uh, battle. Bomber into Baylinx. Uh, that's fine. I'll take three here. Uh, 25. Well, and then three from the bomber, right? Oh. Oh, yeah. Bomber has an effect. I forgot it has the second effect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Ray crash into Gazelle. I suppose I'll protect. Okay. That's fine. Second main mm-hmm. will go another area zero. Ooh, yeah. We will just go to end phase multi roll for one. Over to you. Stand by main. Let's go Falco effect. Target Gazelle. Um, I'll anchor. Uh, yeah. Do you want him? I'd like him, please. Does this still bounce, Gazelle? No, because it's cost just to target. Oh, are you saying because it's just return that monster? I think it probably does bounce it, just the way it's worded. It sounds like it does. If you want yeah. to do something okay. different. In that in that case, I'm not going to act. Are you, you sure? Oh, is, so come on. Like surprise. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. All right, anything here? Uh, I'm going to put it in the bomber zone. Um, So then bomber triggers? Yeah. All right, gazelle. To be able to trigger the gazelle, very cute, very cute. Gazelle effect. Okay, now I'll widow anchor. Yep. Jack Jaguar, no bailings is at my disposal. Ready? Bada bing, bada boom. You got it. Woo! <laughs> oh man, that was so painful. I feel like that third game, I just, I looked at the opener and it was like Falco, gazelle, uh, hand trap yeah it was falco gazelle ghost ogre scythe sanctum and i was like well that's rough if the gazelle doesn't get through we do lose and the gazelle did not get through yeah this was uh this was i mean that's kind of like the obvious choke point too this was a great best of three i was really happy that we got i would say yeah i mean like the 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 danger thunder game was sort of a non-game but that's also kind of like being the the mirror especially yeah if it was danger thunder versus striker at least i could have possibly gotten some hand traps to slow you down Mm -hmm. but unfortunately that just wasn't the case and uh these were like the decks of this format right Mm -hmm. yeah you have like your other stuff on the peripheral but for the most part you were either you were most likely going up against one of these three decks and uh it's not really hard to see why like all three of these decks have like astonishing robustness and resilience this it's crazy i mean I guess we can talk a little bit about how the format has developed. You know, uh, striker players have gotten insanely good at striker. Um, Paulo won three back-to-back events. Uh, it's just unbelievable. <laughs> Insane. Um, Insane. S- Salaman Great is getting tighter and tighter every tournament. People are winning events on, like, 3v3, 3x Salaman Great style uh, brews. Yep. It's got a lot of utility one-ofs at this point. Uh, the, the Scythe package main in this list is very funny. Um, and uh, Danger Thunder Dragon... Uh, I guess it was called. What did people call it at the point that time? It was like Danger Guard. Danger Dragon. Thunder Guard Dragon. Yeah, that deck's really cool. Um, I'm pretty sure it. it uh, we haven't gotten to see like Agrapin yet, and that card's incredible. You mean LP? We saw Agrapin. We did see Agrapin. You summoned Hot Red. Of course, we saw Agrapin. Oh no, I mean, I mean, we haven't seen him until this episode. Oh, sorry. No, no, sorry. no. Um, I thought you meant we haven't seen him at all. Like, no, no, you're a liar. Oh, we're gonna see a ton <laughs> of LP. Don't worry. Uh, but Agrapain is just like yeah. so clearly broken. Uh, you saw in that game, I went through, I think, all but three cards in the extra. And the three cards were yeah. the third copy of uh, uh, Colossus, uh, a one of LP, and Summon Sork, which is for hands that need Summon Sork. But not every hand needs Summon Sork. That's what I think people don't remember about this period is the Summon Sork decks were broken even without Summon Sork. Yeah, but uh, yeah, like a really robust, powerful combo deck, uh, a really robust, powerful control deck in uh, Sky Striker, and a really robust, powerful mid range deck in Salamangrate. You know, despite the fact that that second game looked pretty uninteractive, it was a great time to be playing Yu Gi Oh. I know it's a, a complete 180 to what we've experienced for the last several months of uh, 2018 oh, history yes. of Yu Gi Oh. But 
we're not even at like official toss format yet no. because although Orcus decks, if you want to call them Orcus decks at this point, mm -hmm. uh, are around and maybe we'll see one of those next episode, we don't even have like the centerpiece that brings that deck together and really gets us into the format that's so beloved by so many people. And I think we're starting to demonstrate why people loved toss so much mm -hmm. after looking back at the hellscape of 2018. <laughs> it was a breath of fresh air that all the decks for the most part, sands like maybe the Thunder Dragon deck were actually like relatively interactive and, and people seem to be enjoying them. So you can just tell in Joseph and I's demeanor as we play these games that it's it's fun. Like we're enjoying like having to figure out like how we're gonna like outplace. It's 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 awesome. It's I very it. nice. Um, you know, um the games are won and lost. I feel like that first game specifically by me refusing to play around certain things and getting punished for it. Like ideally that's how games should end rather than I won the die roll out my as a thought board. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout out to Shout1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play, Medulce, Moto, Cameron L. Smith, Phoenix the Immortal, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, Draconic, Little Fade Leaf, Dylan Hunter, Cody Brett, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, Helios515, I tried reading cards before, it was horrible, and my guinea pigs had to get me therapy, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel Bio Community Soon, Cancel Bio Committee Soon, Cancel Bio player soon, Uncle Brian of Stardust, Nicholas Carpenter, Corvain, and Peyton McGrath. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you next time.